from a busy engine of Henry. Goods arrive night and day in the docks. Sometimes Henry and the other engines work so hard that their axles ache. Sir Topham Hatt brought in a new engine to help with the heavy workload. He was long and had ten drive wheels. He looked very strong. This is Murdoch. He's going to be pulling freight on the main line. Ahoy, Mickey! shouted Salty. Welcome, Murdoch, called Harvey. You're the biggest engine I've ever seen, cried Thomas. <laughs> You're a chatty lot, Murdoch said quietly. and tried to chase the sheep back. First this way, and then that way. They tried everything, but nothing worked. We'll never remove these sheep by ourselves, complained the fireman. I'll go and phone for help, sighed the driver. Murdoch was very unhappy. The noisy sheep were spoiling his peace and quiet. Sir Topham Hatt was enjoying afternoon tea when he got the call. Sheep, he exclaimed loudly. I'll send Toby with the farmer immediately. The sheep were noisier and noisier. Please stop, groaned Murdoch. I'd rather be back with the chatterbox engines. Just then, Toby chucked into view. Toby, exclaimed Murdoch. We're certainly glad to see you. Before long, the farmer and his dog went to work. And the sheep were soon safely in their field. And Murdoch was on his way again. spoke first. I'm sorry that I was cross, he chuffed. I'm very pleased to share a shed with you. And we're very pleased to have your company, said Harvey. Aye, we are, added Salty. It reminds me of a story. Murdoch smiled. The sound of ba ba would have kept him awake, but a salty story would send him happily to sleep. 